Hello once again, my dear students. Were you able to cope up with our first lesson? I hope you're all good now as we continue on to the next lesson. Still, this is Miss I, your teacher for today. I welcome you all to General Physics 1. Today's lesson is about accuracy and precision. And still, it is accord according to the DepEd's most essential learning competences for week 1 and that is to differentiate accuracy from precision. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell when is a measurement accurate and or precise. Last time, we have discussed about measurements and the different types of units and as well as how to convert these units from one to another. Now this time, we are going to discuss between accuracy and precision. Now, accuracy in general is defined as the closeness of the experimental results to the true value or general accepted value, while precision in general is defined as the closeness of the experimental results to each other. For us to be able to clearly see the differences between accuracy and precision, let us use these dartboards. Okay, are you familiar with dartboards? I hope you have um, you have seen this in movies, or maybe some of you already have played this, right? So we have some arrows here. Okay, so we have your arrows and the dart. Okay, the dart board. So this is a, that's our board. Now, isn't it that if we use the arrows to hit the dartboard, we really aim for the target point here, which is the center. Okay, so this part here is our target point. Now, similar to targeting the center board of a dartboard, in the same way also in measurements, if we have hit the true value of the dartboard, for example, if we hit the target value here, then we say that our measurement or our readings are accurate. Now, see for this four dart, uh, four arrows rather, so as you can see, they all have hit our target value the center here and all the four readings here all the four arrows are in the center so that means that the reading or accurate uh, the reading or measurement is said to be accurate now when we go to precision or when do we say that a reading or a measurement is precise in precision we don't actually see if the reading has hit the target area so if this is our target area and all of the four arrows you see here your all your four arrows have hit the this part here have hit this part which is already far from your target value right so we say that our readings here is not accurate but it is precise so meaning to say precision is the closeness of the readings here to each other so even if they are not um, near to the true value but all the four readings are close to each other then we say that our readings or our measurement is precise so for us to be able to clearly see again the differences between accuracy versus precision so here's a simple task for everyone so we have four different sets of readings here we have first reading all the four are close to each other and they are at the center of the dartboard what can you say about the measurement is it accurate or precise it is both accurate and precise so accurate because it hits the target point all of the four hit the target point and all the four readings or all the four dots are also close to each other so they are accurate at the same time they are also precise now how about this these four readings here they are far from the true value but the readings are close to each other 
Okay, it is precise because again, it the four readings are close to each other and at the same time, uh, yes, it's close to each other so it's precise but it's not accurate because it's far here from the true value. So it's just precise but not accurate. How about this? The four readings are close to the target but the four are far from each other so it is accurate but not precise not precise because again the readings these four dots the four dots are far from each other how about this the four readings here are far from each other so therefore it is precise or accurate no that's not accurate because it's far from the true value at the same time it's also not precise because the readings are far from each other okay so examples when is the object or when is the readings accurate and precise so if a weather term, term uh, if a weather thermometer reads 75 degrees outside and it really is 75 degrees meaning to say this is really the true value the true value is really 75 and your readings in the thermometer is 75 therefore obviously it is accurate but it's accurate because you read that ther your thermometer reads at 75 degrees Fahrenheit and it is, re it is really 75 degrees Fahrenheit at the same time, for example, if it continues to register exact temperature, okay, so if it registers the exact temperature for several days in a row, then we say that your thermometer is also precise. So, for example, today it read uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, tomorrow it is 74, or tomorrow it is 74.5, or tomorrow it's 75.1. So, the reading 75.1, 74.9, 74.8. So it is near to the true value, which is 75. So therefore, it is accurate. And because the readings are also near to each other, the readings are near 75.1, 75.2, 74.9. So it's near to each other. So, we also say that the reading of your thermometer is also precise. So, another example. This time, it's precise but not accurate. So, your refrigerator thermometer is read 10 times and registers the following degrees in Celsius. You have 39.1, 39.4. So, again, you have 10 readings. So, that's 10 all, 10 readings. And as you see, they are all... Um, close to each other almost all of the readings are 39 point something and the real temperature is really 37 degrees Celsius so it's precise why it's precise because the readings here 39.1 and then 0.4 okay everything here also here so they are all 39 point something so they are close to each other therefore it is precise it's not accurate because the true temperature is really 37 degrees so it's only precise but not accurate so remember that accuracy is how close you are to the true value while precision is how close two or more measurements are to each other. Thank you so much for your time class. I hope you're able to tell now what is a measurement precise or accurate. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me on my social media accounts flash on the screen. See you on my next video lesson. Until then, bye for now!